Let's play them. Let's go! Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, boy! The whole world is in your grasp. Oh, a thrill. Why get one quote when you can get 14? Chill talk to over 14 insurers to find you the best deal. Chill Insurance. We'll take it from here. I'm a man with simple taste. I like a chicken roll with butter. Or mayo. I'm a night owl. I need my coffee, because I'm an early bird. I'm a white bread man. Brown bread man. A nice glass of red. Lemonade. Since she was born, they were born. Two. How did that happen? My favorite is... Wraps. No, salad. And every now and then, I like a chicken roll with butter. Or mayo. We're always changing under the tree at Spar. Step one, you put the pot in the bottom of the drum. Put the clothes on top and turn it on. Close the pack with a click and let it run until it's done. Keep it out of reach from little hands. If your clothes get dirty, just do it again. Don't forget to put the clothes on top. So. Do you pot? <laughs> Always keep out of reach of children. When it comes to mobile sales, we don't play around. You can grab Virgin Mobile for an incredible five euro a month for six months and 25 euro a month after that. Picking up unlimited data, calls and texts. Bring on amazing. See virginmobile.ie. I don't like Murphy Marty. Ah! I do not like Murphy <laughs> If you wouldn't mind throwing yeah. those in, yeah. Could, no. would you mind stepping over? Sorry? No, no, I'm afraid not. I wonder. You would you mind? Are you taking a snap at them? Uh, no, I, I want to uh, 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 shoot them. <laughs> yeah, if you wouldn't mind, this is a, a, a duck caller. If you wouldn't mind, just give it a little blow. Too small. No, that's altogether too small, you see. Oh, this is the one to gun. I was told about this because the sound man that was on Naked Camera, Joe Dolan, the first year, he was like, uh, we had a lot of the same lads from this that worked on Naked Camera. So every time we do a the gag, like you get someone like Joe would say, oh, that was brilliant, but Mike Murphy, much better. I've got a brown one, and I've got one with the blue hair. Where is he? They're in the bag. I have them in the bag. Are they dead? Oh, yes. Are you allowed to us? I think you are. Irish people are still, I say this all the time, Irish people are still the same. There's still that thing in Ireland, that aggressive help thing, where it's, they, they feel like it, they have to make your problem theirs. I tell you what, would you mind, Trey, just blow through that, if you wouldn't mind. Dumb call. <laughs> Sorry? Would you mind? It will entice the little chappy over. Oh, no. You see, I can't shoot out that far and be sure without spreading the shot. In there. No, put it to your mouth and blow. <laughs> A bit louder, do it again, do it again. Haven't even woken up, look. <laughs> you say to someone in Ireland, I've lost me monkey, and instead of them just saying, yeah, whatever, they'll go, well, where did you last see it? Where is it? What, what are you doing with a monkey in the first place? And, and you know, I don't have all day, but like, Jesus, I could wring your neck. I was just about to go home. They still feel the need to give out to you, but they won't leave until it's sorted out. You know, I had to sort out this situation. And that's still, and that was part of that then. People just don't walk away. And that's what's brilliant about Irish people. Whether they hate you or they like you, they're still f***ing determined to help you. If you... <coughs> Why don't you keep going to the trees here, right? You yeah. keep throwing it in. Uh, we it, guarantee it. Now, don't throw the, the gun around like that now. You know, keep it down. See the, see the lip. Keep it be, be, beneath the lip. Sorry, would you mind, Lawfully? Would you mind? If you wouldn't mind blowing that. That's only really kind of color. It's very close. I'm like perfect party. <laughs> I wasn't very clever in school, um, and I had one side of my brain worked well. I was quite good at uh, languages and history and English, but the mathematical side and science <laughs> just didn't function. So I was a disaster. I failed my exams 
quite spectacularly, actually. And uh, then I never even got to do the leaving. I, my father took me out after fifth year and he sent me down to the tech in Rathmines and the principal called him in after I had done the interview and he said there's no point in letting him do his matriculation because he really needs to go back and start from scratch. Well, yeah. Well, I didn't do a leave insert and he didn't do a leave insert, but probably for very different reasons. He probably didn't do a leave insert because he had plans to do things. I didn't because I was thick as shit. Eventually, I was going to get married and I needed a job and I applied to RTE for an announcer's job. And that was kind of it. I didn't have that great an interest in broadcasting or anything. Just needed a job. Cheated. Said that I had me leaving and got in. You see, there are regulations in various states as to what colour of car you can drive. What state are you going to? Buffalo, New York. Buffalo, New York. You need a green one. Now, what car do you drive at the moment? Capri. Capri. Uh, are you leaving the Capri here or what are you doing with it? I'll leave it here, yeah. You'll be leaving it here, right? Oh, can I have the keys? But... <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave it the house. <laughs> no, you have to leave the car here. Here? <laughs> You're leaving the car. You are leaving your Capri here, right? Are you going to America or are you not? <laughs> well, could I have the keys of your car here? That's for the procedure, I don't know. Right. Thanks. I'll just take them so. We're not going now. No, but we have to check out the keys to see are the keys going to match the green one in America. <laughs> I've been here for a week in September. Have you have you been in touch with Father O'Reilly, who's leaving uh, this pilgrimage to Lourdes? Nothing to do with Father O'Reilly. I don't know the man. I've never. I'm the, I don't want to go to Lourdes. <laughs> you, know, you see, most people want to go to Lourdes. <laughs> come on now, come on. I hey, haven't got all these to be hanging around now. Come on, give us the keys of the car. What's your name? Dixon. What's it? Nigel Dixon. Nigel Dixon. <laughs> Now, what age are you now? 21. 21? Yeah. You're not 21, are you? I'm 21. You're not 21. Nearly 22. Nearly 22. <laughs> Listen, I'm not going to Lourdes, right? I can assure you, man. I can assure you, man. You have not a gone. wonderful time. Really. A father O'Reilly is a wonderful man. He will look after you like nobody else will ever look after you. It'll be wonderful for you. I'm delighted now. I tell you what. Now, because it is your honeymoon, what we shall do is we shall throw in the bus from the airport free, right? <laughs> Congratulations. I'm delighted about that. Well done. Is she a nice girl? Now, uh, when you get over there, you're staying how long? Three weeks. What happens if you have a breakdown in the car? What do you do? What do you do, Nigel, when you have a breakdown in the car? <laughs> Good man, that's right. Now, uh, sorry? Nothing. Right, oh. Uh, what school did you go to? New Park Comprehensive. New, New Park Comprehensive. Did you enjoy it? <laughs> right, what were you best at in school? It's just Pardon? average at everything. I can't hear you, Nigel. What? So it was average. Average at everything, right. Uh, <laughs> how many brothers and sisters have you? One of each. What do you want to be when you grow up? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? What do you mean, what do I want to be when I grow up? I'm not very... Have you any ideas what you want to be? Oh, what I am. Uh, what do you want to be? <laughs> this, is, this is ridiculous. What the heck? Why are you asking me all these questions? It's sure, interesting. When you're doing television programmes, you have to ask people that. I'm Mike Murphy from RTV. <laughs> We're doing a bit of film. <laughs> <laughs> You're setting people up and uh, they're either getting upset or annoyed or or anxious or Mike is but Mike was ruthless. I mean he didn't care what he had to do to get the gag. I mean, he was fantastically ruthless. We did, I think uh, a few of us said, wouldn't it be fun if we were able to catch Gay? And in and around that time, he was doing a documentary for Was It On Board Banya, one of the, one of the state boards. And um, some of my pals and people working with me were working on the same series. But what was totally... Um completely incongruous to Gay's thinking of anything being a setup was that John McColgan, our beloved director, was 
you know, so much a part of saying, excuse me, would you, you just, you'll have to go now. So Gay was relying on John, who the so-and-so was part of setting it up for us. So myself, Larry Masterson was producing the show and we set it up. So obviously I was in on the on the gag and gay is very hard to catch but one of the things about gay is when he's focused on his work when he's concentrating we knew that that was probably the likeliest way to to catch him out yeah no i do remember seeing that i remember i remember my dad going i told you we should have bought a video recorder there was definitely he his head was on a chopping block in our office for quite a while we were hell-bent on getting gabo uh the opening line that he had was here in trinity college and Gay is, was, was and is a perfectionist and liked to do things in one take. That was, that was part of the beauty of that one. So by take three, if you listen carefully, you can hear slight little irritation in the voice. Here in Trinity College. Here in Trinity College, Dublin, there is one of the most respected schools of medicine in the world. Indeed, for over a hundred years now, they have led the field in the area of medical research and medical medicine. <laughs> Here in Trinity College, Dublin, there is one of the most respected schools of medicine in the world. Indeed, for over a hundred years now, they've led the field in the area of medical research and preventative medicine. So it's uh, quite appropriate. <laughs> Here in Trinity College, Dublin, there is one of the most respected and... <laughs> Sorry. Great. Sorry. Okay, one second, right? I hope you win today, honestly. One break. <laughs> and Gay is stoic at the very beginning, but then eventually you can see the little foot beginning to tap and he's getting a little edgy. So I didn't quite expect him to tell me to F off, but I did realise we're going to catch him. Here in Trinity College, Dublin, there is one of the oldest and most respected schools of medicine in the world. For over a hundred years now, they've been associated... <laughs> You're obviously not going to get it done while they're there. <laughs> well, I'll let him say hello to all his friends in, in France. <laughs> Here in Trinity College, Dublin, we have one of the oldest and most respected schools in medicine. Does he under the, understand the expression kick in the you know what? <laughs> Here in Trinity College, Dublin, we have one of the oldest. <laughs> Do you understand the expression kick <laughs> off? nearly passed on when because gay never curses in real life either not to mention on television in front of the nation that's the best ever still hidden camera gag that anyone's ever done it's brilliant like we all enjoyed it hugely the nation enjoyed it hugely i said to gay recently that damn thing it'll probably be shown when the pair of us are dead you know <laughs> he said i'd hate to be remembered just for that alone <laughs> <laughs> we never got one as good as that, but we did get a. We got Bill O'Herlihy, which is our closest to that because, like, uh, getting Gay born to say, say the F word on telly was just that's like you know people sitting at home going, Jesus, he knows us. 
I think that PJ Gallagher is terribly mm. funny. I really think he's very, very funny. I was on the but, floor with him. Sorry. Ah, he's very funny. Mm. But I'll tell you, when you look at it and you see... They, they're able to go indoors with little cameras in the yeah, button of their yeah, shirt yeah, yeah, and they yeah. can do all yeah. of the... They, like we would have had such fun yeah. being able yeah. to do that. But we, we hadn't that kind of technology. No, and no. and uh, so I think the naked camera is really good. And But I think particularly PJ Gallagher, he yeah. is so funny. Maybe it worked either way. We had all the cameras and the equipment and we could film people doing all... Well, it sounds like we had all these stuff, but it was literally a bloke standing next to you with a sports bike with a small camera but then when he was doing it you could drive into town and park a van full of cameras in O'Connell Street outside the GPO for the day. The moment what coffee is it? What the Arabian Turkish? It's um coffee just the corner coffee sir. Kona coffee. Right-hand side. You have cream or milk? Uh, no. Milk. <laughs> Good, yes. Yes, okay. You will please kneel. Certainly, certainly. On the actual. You may lift in there. Okay. Please kneel down. Yes. On the mat. Oh, right on the mat, okay. Facing His Excellency. <laughs> Mamia! fun making it and in fact we the live mic was only three series and the the same team was together for the first two years then the team changed for the third year and I didn't enjoy the series at all I didn't like it I didn't enjoy it even though it was number one in the ratings and um, I, I never told anybody but on the very last night live on the air I said that's it I won't be back again next year the series is over so there was a bit of consternation about that <laughs> I have to tell you, though, this is our last programme in the series. After four years, the last in the live mic. A man's got to do what a man's got to do and move on. Gay nearly freaked. Gay came into me on the following Monday and he said, do you realise what you have done? You have destroyed your career. So I said, well, I don't, I hope not. But anyway, I said, once the fun goes out, there's no point in doing it. I imagine he's still doing it, you know. He says, it goes, ah, the cameras are a pain in the hole, so every time he just sort of sticks in some false seat and knocks on the old one's door, <laughs> just to get a fix. Hello, I'm looking for number 20. Who oh, is it? Mrs. Stancy. Riley. Riley? Mrs. Riley, is that right? Are you Mrs. Oh. Riley? Oh, are you one from England? No, oh, I'm Padraig. Hello, Auntie Cathy. How are you? How are you? I'm Padraig. Oh, no. How are you? How are you? Nice to see you. Jesus Christ. I'm Patrick Canadian. <laughs> I'm Patrick Canadian. <laughs> Nanny told me to call in to see I'm going to Dublin. And I came to stay to stay the evening. Oh well do you know who you were going to stop with now? Auntie Bernie above the 20th of Bernie Dress. Well I don't know now. <laughs> Nanny said I was to call in and see Auntie Catty. Yeah. In Mullen Gall. You see I got off the train this morning, I'm on the way to Dublin to the job. It was fun though, wasn't it? Oh, it was brilliant fun, wasn't it? Yeah. 